Once you have identified the journal of choice, you can begin consolidating the materials needed to make a solid manuscript that will have the best chance of acceptance. This is the second most important step. Catalog all relevant details pertaining to your experimental design, including sample size, origin, and sex of the animals used as samples, detailed sample harvesting protocol, and total protein quantification assay. Maintain detailed entries in a lab book for further evaluation by a reviewer or collaborator, including vendors, catalog numbers, lot numbers, and expiration dates. All these will help to reproduce your findings and meet publication guidelines. Catalog reagents used for your Western blot workflow. Examples include materials used for buffers and gel preparation, including vendors, catalog numbers, lot numbers, and any special manipulations such as ending pH. Antibodies are the most important element in a Western blot. So the antibody source, species of origin, catalog number, and lot number should be provided in the manuscript. For novel antibodies, provide the immunogen sequence used to generate the antigen and how the antigen was purified. List the antibody validation strategy used to validate the specificity and sensitivity. Avoid simply using past publications as a reference for validation and try to provide all the latest information to the reader. Disclose all information to ensure repeatability and reproducibility. Provide model number, vendor source for the detectors used, as well as the image acquisition settings used for the study. Disclose any process manipulations made while capturing the image. Use of brightness contrast controls is allowed only when applied globally and carefully without exaggeration or removal of bands. Never use touch-up tools or masking tools on blots. Blots should not be merged without clear demarcation between splice blots. Cropping is allowed only if it adds clarity to the blot. Six band widths of space should be left above and below the target bands alongside the molecular weight marker. Artificial manipulation of images to remove, hide or distort data is strictly prohibited and can result in rejection from publishers followed by reporting of the incident to your institution and grant funding agency. Annotate lanes without distorting the blot image and provide information on key observations in the figure legends. The bottom line is the data matters and not how pretty they appear. Clearly identify the normalization strategy used with associated details such as normalization control used, standard deviations, percent coefficient of variance, etc. Provide proof that you are detecting within the combined linear range of both the target and the normalizing internal loading control, which could be a housekeeping protein or total protein. Complete details of the statistical software and methods must be provided. Note the version of the software used, background subtraction method, confidence intervals applied, and the error bar type used. Data should be presented as either scatter plots or box and whisker plots, depending on the sample size. Data analysis is covered in greater details in another course here at Lambda U. The goal is to provide enough information about your data analysis so that another scientist can perform the same analysis if provided with your raw data sets. 
During the manuscript submission process, digital images are submitted in the PDF format. After the reviewer has accepted the manuscript, editors will require that authors submit high quality images in TIFF format with 300 dpi resolution for color RGB images and 600 dpi for grayscale images. This format ensures that original data is not distorted in any way. It is the responsibility of the author to verify the quality of the images and ensure that any compression applied does not alter the original images. No journal will accept figures embedded in Microsoft Office files such as PowerPoint, Word, or Excel. Most journals provide detailed instructions on image submission in various file formats and often provide tutorials to help authors submit the best quality data. Detailed instructions can be found under the Instruction for Authors section on each journal's website. Supporting data or supplementary data enhances the quality of the paper but is not essential to support the conclusions. During the review process, authors may be asked to submit data on antibody validation, combined linear range, validation of the housekeeping gene expression under experimental treatments, etc. These are important pieces of evidence that strengthen the paper and authors may be asked to provide them as supporting data.